Hello one and all, welcome to the A to the K Wrestling Show. Did you miss us? I mean I did. Yeah, I know like, I did too. It's been uh, it's been, it's been too long. Yeah. You know we We're um, going for that uh, you know, the triumphant return that wrestlers yeah. do. Yeah. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, I see. So, hit my theme music, Carl. <laughs> um Yeah, let's do it. Let's talk about uh, all the news <laughs> because coming up tonight on the Ringside Report. <laughs> CM Punk returning to AEW? Yes, he is. Well, maybe. maybe. The Young Bucks leaving AEW. It's like a fucking revolving door around there. <laughs> um, Naomi, done with wrestling? We have a slight update on Jerry Lawler's health after suffering a stroke. Uh, Trish Stratus set to make a lengthy return. Mm. Tony Khan is interested in being involved in WWE sale process, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> Uh, Batista is trying his best to get inducted into the Hall of Fame yeah. Adam Cole is trying his be- well he's, uh, <laughs> he's revealed his goals for his AEW return mm. uh, Mandy Rose gives an update on potentially joining AEW and the circumstances around her firing don't they have a one in one out system Maybe. if she joins does someone have to leave yeah I think that's, that's what the box are doing right we've had the forbidden door as, as you said now we've got the revolving door nice so, it's <laughs> Uh, is Ryback headed to AEW? <laughs> Everyone is. Maybe. <laughs> um, Alexa Bliss taking a leave of absence from WWE. Well, who to tell you who's not taking a leave of absence from wrestling? It's Eddie Hall, who's made his wrestling debut. What? I know, right? Yeah. It looking ripped as fuck in that picture as well. Oh, yeah. Did he look that Damn. ripped when he wrestled? That's the question. Damn. Um, Francie, tell the people when's all that coming up. Right fucking now, Carl. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But not right, not right now. Oh, because sorry. Sorry. We're all back. Right all right now. With our Yay. friend at the top rope. They, um, because in all fairness, they, they had the kegs, but uh, it's kind of hard to like lift up a keg. Yeah. Um. So we couldn't really do that. But we've now they've now introduced the bottle beers, Carl. Yeah. So we have a supply. We do. Top row Tuesdays is back. Yes, it is. Even though it's is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. But we we reveal it on Tuesday. Oh my bad. So top row Tuesdays back this week. It's Optimus Prime, which yeah. I was pleasantly surprised with. So you see yeah. the theme here. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, look, look at look at the light. Lights. So you can't see the label because yeah. I'm really good at this stuff. There you go. I also go see through. Hey, look. look yeah. Anyway, um, it's just so light. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a really light beer. Um, yeah, delicious so far. <laughs> but I'm loving the bottles. Like I'm particularly enamored. I know like they've had some questions about this. It's it's a screw top, like mm. like um like a pop bottle yeah. or a soda if if mm. you're American. But uh, it, the glass bottles, uh, yeah. like. Kind of trippy, but I like it. Very trippy. It's really cool. It, it gets really you pretty cool. trippy too. Yeah, good stuff. But uh, um, a, a delicious beer. Highly recommend Optimus Prime. Indeed. Not what I was expecting, to be honest. No. I think we both agreed. Like We weren't expecting it Fruitier. to be as fruity yeah. as it is. But uh, delicious nonetheless. Delicious nonetheless. So, coming up right now. That's what Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Coming up right, coming up right now. We went in yeah, a bit. Um, but speaking of things that maybe are um, you know, coming soon or not. Uh, CM what? Punk, Anthony. Well, that's Valentine's Day. Uh, so the belief, uh, based off a recent Instagram post. So he reposted a post from Ice T, of all people. Okay. Um, okay. Where he posted a, a a post, essentially talking about okay. uh, forgiveness for doing kind of bad deeds or something like that. So obviously the speculation. Why would Punk be doing that? Does he want forgiveness for doing bad deeds I mean, because he's returning? I'll be honest. It's more likely that Punk expects people to be like apologetic to him so he can forgive them. Yeah, but maybe. It is what it is, man. Um, but, I mean, is he even going to be in shape to come back? I bet he's been spending all this fucking time in Mindy's Bakery. Oh, stuff in his face muffin cakes. man. <laughs> um, Do you know the muffin man? <laughs> But, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Is he coming back? I think he is. Actually. I like to think so. I like to think they put business first. I mm. think it's the right thing to do in a sense of, like, you know, come back and be professional enough to make a program out of it. People are going to be well aware of it. If he comes back and they just don't interact with each other, it, it'll become a thing then. You know what I mean? So I think they need to address it head on. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, otherwise, he'll, like, let's be honest. I, a lot of people are like, oh, is he going to go back to WWE? I don't think WWE will have him back. No, I don't think there's any chance. All, of that. I think we said from, and it's from not like record. a not like a th- like a bit of this thing. I just think like right now where they are, would they need him? Would they want him? He 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 is a big deal, like in his own right, and I'm not discrediting that. But the way WWE is at the minute, where would they put a big deal? Do you know what I mean? Mm. They're, they're already doing like the the top tier stuff with Roman and yeah. Cody. 
Where would you put Sam? We've already got Sammy in the mix as well. Like, yeah. how many more people are going to be in the main event? Exactly. Scene, so. All of them. Um, it's going to be a Royal Rumble main event. But Anthony, Revolution is right around the corner in March. And uh, the ratings have not been wonderful as of late. So I know. I mean, apparently you need to hit a million. I'm not sure who decided that, but they yeah. just don't do that anymore. Well, exactly. So, uh, yeah, is is Punk the missing ingredient for that? Is, it, is that going to get more people to tune in? Maybe, maybe. I mean, you never know what he's going to do next. Huh? I'll tune in for it. <laughs> yeah, this is very true. He <laughs> might kill a guy <laughs> this week on Dynamite. So, yeah, interesting. I think he should really like make a gimmick out of baked goods now as well. Yeah. Yeah, each week, not? each week, just like a, a pastry or some sort of cake or something. I like that. Mm. So, the Young Bucks car, and this is purely speculative based off their Twitter. So they've revealed, or possibly just reminded people, that their contract is due up in a year, mm-hmm. a year left on their contract, and they said something along the lines of, you know, our oh, time flies or whatever. It's it's been said. I don't know, something along that. Uh, paraphrasing and what have you, yeah. but um, quickly deleted the tweet as well. Or they change the profile because they seem to just put stuff yeah. in the profile and then change it. I don't know, but um, yeah, it seems that people are now going. Oh, are they leaving AEW? Is that why they've mentioned? You know, because that naturally that's you know, hmm. that's what you do, isn't it? You mention your contract and it's suddenly you're going to be leaving. Yeah. So we don't know for sure, but um, you know, let's let's be all like one of them clickbaity people and go. You know, are they going to leave when CM Punk's back because they don't want to work with them? Mm. I mean, you want to talk being clickbaity? Are they retiring? <gasps> Young Bucks retire here to here first. You know, old books. Old books now. Are they? No. Old other books. Oh, I'm late 30s. It's not really old for a wrestler. But, yeah. um, I don't know. It's hard to tell anymore. Yeah. Wrestlers are like being able to go into a fairly long age. Yeah. You know That's what I mean? That's true. I mean, look at Ric Flair. Exactly. <laughs> still yeah. going. Just, I mean, people are shouting stop, but he's just not listening. Well, you can't hear them. Oh, Ow! Hey, right, yeah, fair. fair. Uh, but I don't know. So, they have only got a year left. Where where would they go, man? Where would they go if it wasn't AEW? Go back. The thing is, can't go back to Ring of Honor because Tony owns that as well. So <laughs> go back to New Japan. Like, hey, Cole Cabana. <laughs> and then we'll just see anyway, the Forbidden Doors. Like they've um, gone. Thing is, for me, like WWE, I, I'd be surprised if any tag team wrestlers want to go there. Oh yeah. Like, and again, as good as WWE has been as of late, their weakness is still tag team wrestling. Like yeah. the Usos would have an absolute tear at the detriment of everyone else. The New Day, overdone. You know, um, Alpha Academy could have a good run, but they're not getting anywhere near the title scene. That's going Street on, Profits have lost that many times. It's become redundant whether they even get the titles. It's like, wh- what what do you do for the tag scene? You can't bring the Young Bucks in or even um, FTR without going, right, well, we're going to have to decimate the Usos for it. Although, and then what do you do with the tag scene? You need to bring them both, I suppose, to actually have a, a, yeah. like a bit of a busy tag the scene. Two teams, you, two teams? Two teams you name then. Um, two teams you named. Uh, Otis and Gable look like they could be potentially splitting up naturally Otis well, they were... goes to Maximum Male Models that's the thing um, and you know what and obviously I, I don't know why I didn't see that coming <laughs> I, I really should have seen that coming um, basically somebody saw the uh, the Chippendale sketch from Saturday Night Live with uh, Chris Farley and went money uh, so that's where that's going to go but then obviously Montez has got an opportunity at the US title, whereas Dawkins does not. Yeah, so, so what's gonna naturally, naturally, mm. they're going to split them up as well. Because mm. we don't like tag teams. No, of course no, not. we do not. Of course not. Uh, but I don't know. I can't see them going to WWE, even though they are obviously close with Cody. Um, yeah, who knows. Mm. But, come on, even me, you must know this, the tag scene is very different to everything else over there. True. Very true. But yeah, who knows? Um who knows? Who knows? The young bucks do. To the bucks. Those two guys know. They know. Tell us, guys. Um, speaking of uh, potential retirements and, and whatnot, uh, so Naomi has obviously been gone from wrestling for a long time. Uh, as we know, uh, Mercedes Varnado is, or Mercedes Monet, as she is now known, um, is back. She's in the wrestling scene, whereas we still haven't seen anything of Naomi. True. However, on her Instagram, she updated it to just Trinity. Like from the Matrix? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Um, but obviously, Trinity Fatu, her real name. Uh, and obviously, she still references Naomi WWE as her Twitter name because that, that is her handle. Maybe she's trying to get it changed. Yeah. But other than I that, think if you change it, you lose your status. And given the way Elon Musk is over Blue Ticks at the minute, maybe she just doesn't want to pay for it. Yeah. Maybe. I'm, you know, not to throw logic at it, but I, I think. 
legacy tick it's probably easier to keep in it so just don't change your handle fuck it yeah it's maybe. a matter uh, but I don't know do you think she's done the Twitter people come over me it's wrong <laughs> the Twitter people <laughs> he's wrong he's wrong it doesn't Some, work like somewhere, that way. Oh. somewhere Elon's just like sat up in his chair and it's gone <laughs> send the hounds uh, yeah you know <laughs> fucking spaceships but, coming um, from you now do you, do you think, like, is, is this it? Is this it for her in the wrestling world? Obviously, her, her husband is, still works in WWE. I think, I, I think she's probably going to... I think this is a clear indication she's going to take some more time away. Mm. I don't think she's done, by any means. I think, it's, you know, inevitably with wrestling, I think once you get the bug, you get the bug. I think at some point she'll come back. Yeah. Um, I just think it's probably going to be a lot longer than people expect. Mm, interesting. Personally. But yeah. It's mad that we haven't seen her back already, to be fair. So, yeah, maybe she is going maybe she is, to do other maybe she is. So, Carl, not much of an update we can give on this, and we were a bit late with the news because Anthony decided not to be around for a week. Um, so I'll just give a quick update. Um, Jerry Lawler, unfortunately, suffered a stroke, uh, I want to say, last week. Yeah. Although uh, I've lost track of yeah. time. Could but, have been the end of the previous Yeah, week, yeah. But, but um, obviously, very sadly, suffered a stroke. <laughs> um, this is actually the second one, obviously, uh, infamously suffered a stroke on air um, uh, many years ago. So um, there was a lot of concern over it at the time. I think he was found face down, obviously very worrying. Um, so it's just a quick update to say, you know, he's still recovering in hospital. There's not a lot of information out there, as is probably rightly so. You know, it's a personal yeah. thing, isn't it? But, you know, we are aware that he's doing well. And he's recovering. But um, as I say, just want to give a quick update because we didn't address it last week and you know what I acknowledge yeah. the man he's you know fucking legend isn't yeah he? it's it's such a shame really because yeah. obviously we saw him on the pre-show for the rumble yeah and he just looked like his old self and we were saying oh you know he looks good and stuff and goes to show how quickly things can change unfortunately mm. but I think Jim, Jim Ross posted something to say um he'd spoken to him mm. and obviously his his speech is still you know very slurred and stuff like that at the moment so mm. obviously hopefully he gets back to you know what he's great at doing which is obviously talking so indeed um, indeed yeah terrible terrible news and obviously wishing him a super speedy recovery indeed um so this next one is fascinating so it uh, is man if it you is watched raw uh last week you will have noticed that lita made a return to um kind of be in the corner of becky lynch and obviously damage control there's three of them but now there's only becky and lita what could we possibly do now, what was originally reported by somebody whose name I do not remember. Um, <laughs> some guy. Some guy said this thing and probably still has more credibility than Dave Meltzer. But, um, I can't, I can't, of course. Uncle Dave. Uncle Dave. <laughs> Uncle um, Dave. But, yeah, apparently Trish was meant to be on Raw this week. And it was oh. going to kick off an angle for the Elimination Chamber. Okay, thank you. Of a, maybe, yeah. of a three-on-three match uh, was the original report. Uh, however, it's since come out that Dakota Kai is still recovering from injury, which would make that match unable to happen. Nothing's been announced for the chamber. Uh, so Trish is having to wait for Dakota. And um, if you will have seen on Raw, the, they went the direction of Bianca versus Bailey and Becky in a match. And if they didn't win, then they're not getting into the chamber at all. So they won't oh, have a surprising a, result. Yeah, so they're not well, going to have man. any shot for a title at Mania. So. Does this mean then that the triple, uh, well, the three on three trios match is going to take place at Mania? It's like you use a uh, trios, six, six woman tag. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Trios. Don't use one you get this bullshit from terms. Uh, but yeah, maybe WrestleMania is the place to be for that then. Maybe we'll see Trish, Lita, and Becky taking on damage control there. But um, someone else has kind of said that she's expected back for a lengthy return, and it's not what people expect. So that could mean anything. <laughs> Ah, she's going to be an authority figure, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Take over from Adam Pearce. I mean, that's not hard, is it? Never fucking there. So <laughs> She's going to take over from Teddy Long. You're going to go one-on-one <laughs> with The Undertaker. Uh, Trish, he's, yeah, he's retired. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I'd um, fucking love to see that, to be honest. Uh, you know what? We've been wanting, like, It's nice when you see her return. I think last time was uh, the first Women's Rumble. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, the, the last match or last appearance. Yeah, last in ring appearance. Was, was... Um, and uh, you know what? For me, because I mean, she's in incredible shape. To be fair, so mm-hmm. I don't see any reason she can't come back in the ring as well. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. how good was the Lita? Just How good was the Lita program? Um, when Lita come back yeah yeah it was, so, it was really good there's room for legends man and if we're constantly bringing back male legends fuck it let the women it's have a go man it's a complaint we've always had as well though isn't it it's like you know you've got your likes of your Goldbergs and that who's like super ancient and he's in there and it's all fine but yeah. as soon as a woman hits like 40 it's like oh we can't have her in it's like yeah. why his Goldbergs are like just give me a minute <laughs> so. and yeah I'm throwing shade he's obviously in better shape than me but whatever yeah well it's, it's Goldberg um 
But yeah, I'd, I'd love to see her back. I think she's she's a she's boss. She's one of the probably the my, my, <laughs> my favorite. For those not wrestler. in the know, that's a very scouse <laughs> uh, seal of she's approval. Boss, she's boss. She's boss. She's boss. That's like know. might as well have a little stick of a car going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's boss. She's so, um, boss. Yeah. Hopefully, we get to see her back. I think we need to start endorsing things like a. Mm. It's boss. <laughs> Sorry, I've got on tangents. Sound. <laughs> sound and that. Proper sound. Um, so, yeah. so, Carl, this is, again, a little bit of old news, but interesting to say the least, so let's talk about it. So, Tony Khan was recently asked about the purchase of WWE and uh, whether he would be one of the people interesting. Uh, interesting. Mm. And he said, no, you're not interested, man. Um, so, yeah, they asked if he'd be interested in the purchase, and he's alluded to the fact that, obviously, he definitely would consider it. There's a lot of factors involved there. Yeah. but A um, couple of moving parts, maybe. There's a, there apparently is a lot of interest. Um, there's a lot of confusion. You know, like Vince has sort of powered his way in, in a typical Vince McMahon way. I believe he walked in the boardroom in that <laughs> usual way. Um, and uh, evidently has the he doesn't need to consult the board of directors. He has the final say on the sale. So um, it's down to who Vince likes, I think, at this point. And rumor has it Comcast are no longer in the talks. Ooh. So still does many... Who does that leave, then? Well, still many options, but it's interesting to hear that Comcast is likely not in the talks anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, how credible that source is, I don't know, because I made it up. I'm kidding, I didn't. Um, but yeah, I mean, I- I'm I'm really kind of torn on this. Mm. Like, part of me would love to see AEW being able to work with WWE in that capacity because he owns all the marbles, but we know what a monopoly can do. We loved AEW because competition is good, mm. as much as AEW has not been giving us their best this year, Tony. No. Um, or last year. But, <laughs> or the year before. <laughs> <laughs> but um, competition is good. So, given that AEW were the, probably the, the most viable level of competition and I'm sure some people will come at me like they're not competition ah. it's like they're, they're the closest thing to right um, I don't know I don't know if it'd be a good thing but the, the possibilities of like because the kid in me wants to see another invasion and we want, I want to mm-hmm. see Kenny Omega get in the mix with WWE and stuff like that it's a fucking cool idea but yeah. at the same time that would mean that Tony's there like I've got everything I've got lots of fucking money and all the wrestling. <laughs> it just buy it. it suddenly a lot less money. buy impact and close it just because he fucking can. Yeah, mm-hmm. I I don't know. Power trip, man. Yeah, I made um, that last bit up as well. Yeah, just FYI. Yeah, okay. Uh, the thing is, if Vince is going to have the final say on it, if that part of the story is true, mm. would would you really sell to Tony Khan? I don't trust Can any of my Vince stories anymore. Mm. I mean, you got to look at your options, haven't you? It depends what Vince McMahon wants to protect. If he wants to protect the wrestling business. And he's going to get the money he's asking. Say he's asking 8 billion, which is a number I've heard banded around. And Tony's like, here's 8 billion. Mm. And I love wrestling, so I'm going to keep it as a wrestling show. Why not? You know, the other options are sell it to a corporation who probably offer you similar money and tear it apart. Mm. Because they won't want it for what it is, will they? It's an investment. Yeah. But what, what would it become if, like, Disney bought it, for instance? And again, I know, like... You're probably I mean, going to say a lot about that. <laughs> but Is it going to be a ride? Can I ride the ride? Um, <laughs> See, call it the rumble. <laughs> yeah. See? Imagine that. It's just end of the roller coaster. <laughs> you could throw it off over the top rope. <laughs> Ow! Yeah. It's not the safest ride. <laughs> um, it's called the botch. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Um, but yeah, I'm, for me, I'm like, I understand in, in the sense of like, he is very much a wrestler, Mark. And by all accounts, was a WWE fan. Yeah, yeah. Before setting up a rival company and getting pissy about it. Um, so you go, well, would he necessarily be... I mean, again, a lot of people come at this and go, well, look at the way he's worked on AEW and Ring of Honor because he's a fan. He just books his little fanboy stuff and it's mm. not necessarily good booking, which I, I'm I'm struggling to defend anymore, if I'm honest with you. We got, you know, the first year of AEW was fantastic. And then now it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Mm. I it's think still, it's... There's still really good stuff in there. And this is the thing. We end up watching both because cause you want to see Sting and you want to see the likes of Britt Baker and Soraya and Tony mm. Storm. And you want to see the likes of even Adam Cole when he comes back. Still a Thunder Rosa mark. You know, there's loads of great people there to watch. So you tune in, don't you? You fucking love the acclaimed. Everybody loves the Everyone acclaimed. Everyone loves the acclaimed. So... For me, there's loads of reasons to watch it, but it's still not the best booked anymore, sadly. Yeah, it's kind of turned into all elite wet dream, wasn't it? Yeah. Essentially, <laughs> that's think... the next paper. <laughs> yeah, it's just um, I don't know. He's he's booking it more for himself, I think. But yeah, maybe he'll get over that once mm-hmm. he's done all his fantasy bookings. But um, I mean, do you maybe think... 
out of left field. Maybe Billy Corgan's just going to rock up and buy WWE. <laughs> Whoa, what? Well, now Tyrus is going up against Roman. What? Do you think there may already be something happening already anyway? Like, I've seen like um, sponsored matches and a lot of kind of advertising, like a lot more heavily of late. Do you think maybe there is some kind of, like if Pepsi bought it? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Punk's definitely coming back then. Uh, it's already branded. It's true. So, ah, imagine how if it if it was. <sighs> See, they're gonna ruin it. They're, they're just gonna ruin it. Imagine like the promos if a corporation bought it. You better update your mobile plan with Sprint because <laughs> I got something to tell you. It's like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. It would be LA night as well. <laughs> fucking on everything like a fly on shit. Let me talk to you on this clear reception. It's like, <laughs> Nah, that's actually. I don't. A, you know what? I'd love that. I've heard to be honest. <laughs> Let me talk to you. So funny. I knocked my glasses off because I'm professional. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hilarious. Um, so this next one's fascinating, Anthony. No, it's as not. we know. Okay. <laughs> uh, Move on. It is to me, I, damn it. A kid. A kid. It's so, got Drax to destroy it, and of course it's. Good. Well, WrestleMania goes Hollywood, obviously. Yes, this, it does. Uh, yes, it April. does. And uh, Hall of Fame's coming up. No one's been announced for it yet, and a lot mm. of people are making assumptions. Ah, oh, Batista are going. He's an actor. You know, he's not, he's he's fully retired now. You know, it makes sense. He was meant to go in it during the COVID time. Fully he refused, retired, didn't he? From acting? From wrestling. Ah. Um, and he was going to be in it in the 2021, but he declined, didn't he, at the last minute because of the way they were going to do it and he wanted to be in front of fans. I'm going to call so, it. I'm going to call this right now. Disney are going to buy <laughs> WWE. He is going to rock up at WrestleMania in some Drax. sort of match as Drax. That's what's okay. going to happen. Okay. And he'll go in the Hall of Fame too. But we're definitely going to get some <laughs> Disney BS going on here. Mm, maybe. Hollywood. It's all about Hollywood. But um, Who owns Hollywood? The fucking mouse does. It does. Really Sorry, does. go on. Uh, but yeah, the interesting tidbit from the interview I think he did with comicbook.com is he said um, he's he's trying his best. He's trying to get into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> so it's what, like... what, what in... Like, I'm sure he is, but what's involved in trying your best? I just, Does I he thought... just sat there next to Triple H going, come on. <laughs> I've, got, I've literally got visions of him just stood outside in the rain, looking in Triple H's window, just like... That's <laughs> <laughs> outside. Just, uh, but... it's like, just a sign. If you were me, you'd be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> but it's like, it's a, it's a big gamble, isn't it? Because he's an actor. Baby, come back. Sorry, come. He's an actor. And he must have a lot of roles like already lined up. Mm. So it's not like he's just got like, a load of free time. So... Unless that's what he means, he's trying to align it with the schedule or what, and they have offered it to Maybe. him. Don't know, but um, it'd be strange if they didn't put him in this year, if yeah. if it was possible. Oh, we're just gonna throw back to his old uh, his last return. He's gonna stand there, going, "Give me what I want," until they <laughs> put him in the Hall of Fame with his blue trunks on. <laughs> that was the he got so rinsed for nothing. The end of his, uh... <laughs> it's like he's wearing blue. Look at him. It's like why? What? We'll why? Call him blue t He's got bullied, didn't he? It? It's just <laughs> it rhymes. It works. Like, yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, uh, WWE. So yeah, who knows? It'd be strange if he doesn't go in, but we will see. We will see. So, Carl, Adam Cole is planning his return. He's planning his return, Carl. Baby. Baby. Um, so, basically, what, what the update is here is is obviously he, he's... We're not back fully, but he's he's on the cusp, right? Mm. But um, given everything that's gone on lately, injuries and such, um, he was basically talking recently in an interview whose name escapes me because I'm great like that um, and he's saying that uh, his definite plan is to have a baby face run he spent I, I want to say he said about 80-90% a, a large proportion of his career as a heel mm-hmm. and he feels like it would have been weird to come back as a heel given that people were glad to see him back especially with everything that got on so he wants to come back to AEW and have a solid face run Mm. So that's the update. That's where we are with Mr. Nice. Cole. Okay. So um, we're going to see Face Call. Face Call. <laughs> see the merch now. Yeah. Is he is he going to be a super awesome face? I don't know. Um, uh, he's very good at being a heel, so it's hard to tell. I mean, to be fair, though, like the fans absolutely fucking love him. But even when he's a heel, don't they? No one's really booing him because they hate him. Like they're all joining yeah. him with the whole. <laughs> but they love to hate so, him, so hmm. you got to wonder. Is he better as a heel just because he can be the cool guy heel? Maybe. Hey, let's face it, he's probably just been a tweener his whole life, if we're being honest. Stone yeah. Cold Steve Austin, except, you know, doesn't look anything like him. Yeah. 
Well, he's, he's, he said he's, you know, he, he wants to go after the, the title. And obviously, MJF, the biggest heel in the business, is the champ at the minute. So it mm-hmm. wouldn't make sense. You'd have to be a face yeah. to go up against him, wouldn't you? So. And to be fair, By like proxy, again, you, you go, well, he'd play the face. It doesn't mean he can't be savage on the mic. And we know he's got some decent promo skills. We've mm-hmm. seen him. Is it running NXT? The Undisputed Era for like at least the first year of them were decent. Hmm. Um, it, I don't know. It depends whether you like Kyle O'Reilly. I have my opinion on this. But there you go. So, face run, champion. Nice. Nice. Do you think he could be the one to dethrone? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Anyway, let's talk about Mandy. Um, well, yeah, sticking with the AEW theme. So, she was recently on the sessions with our buddy Renee. Um Never met her, I spoke to her in my life, but she's our buddy. Our uh, buddy, really. And she revealed um, that she would be open to joining AEW. She said that she loves the wrestling business and she definitely wants to get back into it. Um, but she's obviously going to have a little bit of a break right now, you know, to make that fucking money. That uh, fan, <laughs> fan time money. Um, like, well, I get money just for, you know, sitting at home, taking pictures. So. Well, exactly. Uh, like millions. Oh. <laughs> but she hasn't obviously ruled it out that she could end up in AEW. So that is an option. Mm. But what she also revealed, Anthony, I know we discussed this at the time of her release. She said that she was never given a warning. So obviously, whereas we know Riddle and the like have had several warnings, and then obviously he's got like suspensions <laughs> and all like, that. Okay, no more warnings, but you have to stop doing the drugs. He's like, no. <laughs> well, exactly. Whereas obviously for Mandy, we were under the assumption, well, they've, they've obviously asked her to take it down and they've warned her and she hasn't done it. And so, you know, it's interesting, what are you going to do? But apparently not. What you got to do? Hmm. Interesting stuff. I th- I feel like um, she was treated very unfairly in that scenario. Yeah, one hundred percent. And make um, that money, as far as I'm concerned. It, you know, it it says a lot when the the company seems, you know, more likely to fire you for making your own revenue streams than they would be for, you know, potentially endangering people's lives or yourself. <laughs> yeah. Seems, seems odd to me but I don't know I, don't I feel know. like that's a business decision not a, not anything other than a business decision going where's my cut of the pie and she's like well you don't get one mm. and they're like you're fired then yeah you know because yeah, at the end of the day that's the bottom line if they could make money from it and that's the bottom line if they if they were if they weren't worried about being PG every diva would have some sort of oh, diva fucking hell I'm going to get fucking lynched for that every woman's wrestler would probably have the option of an OnlyFans and um, it'd be controlled the way it is with Cameo and uh, mm. WWE get some sort of revenue stream from it themselves. Yeah, wouldn't be a problem. But the the issue is the PG element, isn't it? And some of the deals, because I believe one of the deals was with Mattel, and Mattel went too thrilled. Is what it is. Mm. I mean, unless they were, you know, <laughs> Mandy's there, just like oh no, with dollar bills. Like <laughs> I don't think she 100, cares. Hundred dollar bills. Let's be honest, <laughs> millionaire. Um, but yeah. So uh Okay, so Ryback, Carl, mm. has uh, once again talked about his return. I don't think he's asked people whether he should return this time, but uh, he's really talked about answer. his potential return. You know, he's, he's he's feeling good. He wants to come back to wrestling. He's apparently finally won the rights to his name. I, I didn't realize he was still fighting for them, but here we are. Um, so he's finally fight. got the rights to, to Ryback. The rights because to Ryback. Sorry. <laughs> so Ryback was a really important thing to him. So, you know, and despite the fact he's used it, the whole time I don't know if he could use it in wrestling until now mm-hmm. so he reckons um, he's just got to wait for the paperwork to come through which would take probably another few months and then he's good to go he can use the name and that's been the, that's been the linchpin couldn't mm-hmm. wrestle under Ryan Reeves that wouldn't make any sense no. um, so he, he may may come back hungry mm-hmm. um, but has he has he got the uh, the trademark for Feed Me More uh-huh. I mean it's called Feed Me More Nutrition so I think he probably had that from the mm-hmm. afternoon um, he wouldn't have as good of a ring to it it's just Feed Me I'm hungry you know, it's not really the same. I mean, we could just get Mickey Ruckus involved. You know, it's all about that food. It's like, could be. Could be. I'm, I'm not saying his music sounds the same. I'm just saying that that's the quickest one I could think of where they could make a food reference. Um, So he's looking at coming back and he's actually mentioned AEW as a possibility. He hasn't ruled out WWE, but he wants to come back to wrestling. He's mentioned AEW and he's mentioned that he's be interested in wrestling Wardlow. And Wardlow said... Hasn't he I mean, been I'm, through I'm enough? Sure. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Leave Wardlow alone. Yeah. Um, be interested in a world where AEW has CM Punk and Ryback. Interesting. <laughs> Given that Ryback is still not let it go. <laughs> like, yeah. People talk about CM Punk being bitter. That guy references CM Punk as much as he possibly fucking can. This is this is very true. Um, and for that reason, I can't see it happening, to be honest. Mm. But we will see. 
Um, now this one's an interesting a one. A very strange one, so, given that she was in the middle of a story. Yeah. So, obviously, it was reported recently, again, because we're dead good at what we do. Yeah, we are. Who by. But somebody reported... <laughs> reported by some people. <laughs> somebody credible, anyway, uh, to a degree. Incredible. I mean, how credible is anybody, really? But they've said it that Alexa Bliss is taking a leaf of absence from the WWE. Um, they've said it's apparently not injury related. You okay. can. Um, but she also posted a tweet, um, saying, uh, "Good, she's boring anyway. Hopefully, she's gone for good. She doesn't care anymore. Y'all don't know what you're even talking about." Hashtag stay toxic, my friends. Now um, it is fair to say she's faced a little bit of, um, you know, <laughs> criticism. <laughs> If you will. Uh, yeah. To, and to say be fair, least. we've even discussed, like, what is her character now and stuff since, you know, she's come back and things it's like that. It's a shame because I don't really think that's, like, necessary. Like, I totally agree. Like, I think because we talk about character, we, we mm. don't try not to criticize the people because that's not really fair. We talk about the character. And I think the issue was, like, she was being booked as part of the whole Uncle Howdy thing, which is an incredibly slow burn. Mm. Too slow. For our opinion, we said the same thing about the Bray stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily a criticism specifically of her, but where they were building to was just taking so long. Yeah. So fucking long. Yeah. I um, I know the, the person who reported it as well said it's not injury related. And I don't want to like speculate too much. Right, but stop. Every, yeah, every match that she had, I'd noticed that you mentioned this about the nose. She thing. always has a yeah. bloody nose, mm. and obviously she's had trouble. She's had to have like some operations. You're too British stuff. to say it like a. There she is again with that bloody nose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's had a little bit of. What well, I mean, how would you say it in an umbrella? I don't know. Right? Um, <laughs> her nose was bleeding. Yeah, her nose has been bleeding um, of late in pretty much every match that she does. So I personally think that there's definitely some issues there. Mm. Um, you know, it's not. It's not ideal when you're obviously, you know, trying to wrestle a match. You just low key got a snot joke in there. Did you say snot? It's ideal? not ideal. But uh, so yeah, I don't know. I hope, hope for her sake, it's not. Because I mean, that that could potentially be a career. They have said it's not injury related though, quite specifically, well, which is have. an unusual thing. Um, and again, as I said, it's just speculation on my part. But whatever it is that's going on, as you said, she was pretty much in the middle of a storyline. Mm. So. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, just whatever's going on. Hopefully, she's okay and back soon. Indeed. Absolute ledge. Especially ledge in the making. Mm. Hall of Famer. Future. So, um, yeah, hopefully. Like, obviously, take all the time you need. I was going to say, hopefully, we see it in the ring again soon. Mm. But bottom line is, take the time you need. Yeah. Have a moment of bliss and then come back. Hey. hey. So, Carl. Eddie Hall. Mm. For those of you who don't know Eddie Hall, living under a rock. Um, not the rock but uh, Eddie Hall strongest man in the world probably mm -hmm. has been well, so I don't know strongest like, I don't know because he's, he's a, obviously he's a strong man you know but I don't know like uh, he was the strongest I man in the world so. right I he's don't know how the compositions work yeah. but certainly stronger than most people we know mm -hmm. right um, I was offered actually a number of years ago uh, like a bumper deal with WWE for some appearances um, turned it down so people were like okay fair enough don't want to wrestle well I'll tell you now Carl he's made his wrestling debut by appearing in a um, I want to say a rumble of sorts I don't know if you technically have to call it a battle royal when it's not WWE related in his hometown of Stoke mm. so um, could this be the start of a beautiful wrestling career for Eddie Hall must have been a fucking hell of a bumper deal that promotion offered then to mm. be honest indeed reinforced ring and everything there man <laughs> imagine pick up the ring with everyone in it happily just toss people out the ring and an that motherfucker comes in you're like ah oh, shit yeah. he ain't throwing him yeah I mean that would be a very creative way to win a rumble everyone's in the ring and because you're the strongest man you just pick the ring up <laughs> chuck him out. out I would love that why haven't <laughs> they done that with brawn <laughs> that's such a brawn thing to do it's a very brawn thing to do can madness you, can you flip it can you flip this <laughs> um like <laughs> That's just his resume, isn't it? I flip things. Yeah. I'd love that to be like a little mini segment. You know, they used to do those digital uh, exclusives back in the day with like Tim White trying to kill himself. Stuff like that. You know, remember those fun skits? Well, you just have like this. a little skits back say, Can I flip it? <laughs> yeah. Can I flip this? And it's just different things each week. <laughs> it just starts out really small like a coaster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can. <laughs> anyway, um, total digression. Eddie Hall is now wrestling and I'm, I'm super excited for that. Madness. Let's try boxing. Didn't work out. Yeah. Hopefully mm -hmm. this one will. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was the news this week. It was, yeah, uh, it was. You know, two weeks in the making. But... That's an excuse to ask Hedy Hall to be on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. 
Sam. Eddie, you know, you know you're watching anyway. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, so, yeah, we plugged them at the start of the show. We'll mention them again. Top Rope, they are back. Um, and well, better they never than went away, never. But they've got a, a new range of beers and glass bottles. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful bottles available now. Topropebrewing.com. And you can get yourself 10% off with our code A to the K10. Oh, yes, you um, can. You can also buy our merch uh, at Pro Wrestling Tees with the latest designs, courtesy of our friends Alt Wrestling Tees, who you can find on Instagram. Goddamn um, right. Are you watching us on Pro Wrestling TV right now? If you are, thank you very much. If not, Thank you for watching us on YouTube. We appreciate it. Thank you for all the subs. We, uh, yeah, I'm going to really have a bit of a tear at the minute. Ah, so loving it. Loving life. Genuinely appreciate that. But um, go and check out Pro Wrestling TV as well. You can get it anywhere. Um, get, there's an app on Samsung TVs now as well. Yeah, it's wrestling. Anyway. Wrestling. 24-7. 24-7. All 24/7. the best oh, stuff. Yeah. And, and us. Even yeah, have the boys from What Culture over there now. Boys from What Culture. Um, yeah. So. We were there like the... We could proudly proclaim the best British yeah, kind of say wrestling that now, show on pro wrestling TV, oh, and then they wrap up. So I'm like, oh, fine. Listen, to Simon. Whatever, Simon. Um, <laughs> so. We're upset. Why? <laughs> no, um, I kid. Well, I absolutely love what culture. Watched it way back in the day. Probably part of the inspiration for all of this, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, loved WCPW when it was a thing. Yeah. So uh, super cool to have them on there. And uh, you know what? A bumper thing for pro wrestling TV, as yeah. well as you know the likes of Women's Wrestling Army, TNT, fucking Warrior Wrestling, AAA, MLW, AAA. MLW. Just tons of shit going on, guys. Look yeah. at it. It's awesome. Definitely. Um, and yeah, that's another fun-filled week of news. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>